Indianapolis firefighters are recovering tonight after a roof collapsed while they responded to this house fire. The family living inside got out safely thanks to one unlikely hero. CBS 4's Scarlett O'Hara explains what happened and how that family got out unscathed. A family of four was sound asleep when flames began to creep up behind their house on Retreat Lane. That fire headed for the attic while they escaped and completely took over by the time firefighters carried out a final search upstairs. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We have a member of Ladder 55 was on the second floor. Buried part of the ceiling collapsed on him. We're trying to get him out now. They were getting ready to leave the structure. The fire had been active for you know, enough minutes that it caused this roof to weaken and it came down on them. Indianapolis Fire Battalion Chief Rita Reith says two firefighters heard a loud noise and suddenly found themselves trapped under burning debris. They quickly got free. One seriously hurt, the other now recovering at home with minor injuries. But what allowed all the family members to get out without a scratch, they say, was their cattle dog named Rockney. Pretty much, yeah, Rockney's a big hero. The home smoke alarms didn't go off because the fire ignited outside and officials say once it reached the attic, the flames were above the alarms. Rockney's barking woke the parents up though. Rockney, he's, he's a little, he's spunky. Um, not very much of a people person, but always on the alert, always barking. When a <clears throat> neighbor told me that's how he woke up, it didn't, didn't shock me. And, just gave him a little pat on the back, said good job. Trey Boer is allowing his neighbors to stay with his family for now. His house and one on the other side both sustained some fire damage as well. I'm grateful IFD was here as quick as they were. Um, Cause I mean, our house and the house on the other side of the neighbors, they, both of us probably would have ended up in the same scenario. The homeowners asked not to be on camera, but said in a statement, quote, it was really scary, but we're all okay. We're hoping the firefighters that were injured are okay. Everything happened so fast. I'm just really thankful for everyone helping and reaching out. On the southeast side, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News. Investigators believe the fire was started by a cigarette that was discarded into a potted plant.